Hi, Assalamualaikum. Alright, um, Mr. B over here. Thank you for watching my video. Alright, in um, as you can see, I'm right now in my home garden. Okay, one of the best place which I love to be, especially after a long day. Okay, so let's just treat you guys to a bit of my um, garden. Okay, mashallah. Um, yep, it was much different a few years back. Alhamdulillah, um, there have been time and space for me to work on them. Alhamdulillah. In this video, I just like to share with you one one important lesson which I've uh, learned uh, throughout these uh, few years of trying to be a home gardener. Okay, um, it's been a long journey. Um, there's a lot of uh, failures, all right, and what you see over here, I, w I would say, is just, you know, those small pieces of successes. Okay, um, yeah, so, you know what, I'm just going to bring you guys again, let's take a look at, let's take a good look at the plants for a while. Okay, so, um, this is a fake plant, all right, a fake. Um, well, we bought it from the nursery. We, obviously, we did not start it from the fruit or the seed itself. When we first bought it, it took some time for it to, uh, I would say, adapt to the condition here. And Alhamdulillah, uh, it looks much greener now. Um, over here, you can see two little plants. One, two. This uh, pomegranate, pomegranate seedlings. Um, growing, Alhamdulillah, we managed to get. Uh, no, actually, we actually grow it from the seed itself. Okay, uh, we didn't think it would grow, but Alhamdulillah, it start to grow after some time without us realizing it. This pot has a long story. Okay, it was actually part of my sweet potato uh, project, which did not work out. Okay, instead, uh, well, they died. Um, I really got. I, I only got a in my if you if you watch my post earlier, I only got like a peanut size uh, sweet potato, so we discarded that. Instead, I use a soil bag, and um, through kacang botok seeds. Okay, I will check for you what's the English translation of kacang botok. Okay, and Alhamdulillah, it grew. Actually, put about four or five of them, and okay, only one grow, not bad. Alright, this uh, sour soap. Okay, um, there's four of them. But one is, I think, it's died already. So there's left three. Um, well, they've been through a long journey. There was a point of time and uh, it looked like they're going to die. But um, then you show that it's going to live again. And then now uh, there are some brown leaves here. But good news is that we can see new leaves coming out. So it shows that the plant is adapting well. Okay, this is amazing, right? I believe, I believe that uh, this would be apple seedlings. Yeah, um, which we actually literally, you know, bought some apples from the, from the store, from the supermarket, get the seeds out, and then just throw it in the, in the soil. Yeah, so I believe that these are apple seedlings. I'm not sure if they can grow in Singapore, but let us give it a try. We never know. All right, aloe vera, something that is uh, pretty uh, easy to grow in Singapore. Um, well, this one has some story. It was planted over here. Um, after which, I thought of shifting it uh, to this side. Okay, but then again, it don't seem to be going too well. So. Put it back over here, which we see more of direct sun, uh, more direct sunlight from the from the sun, um, and you can see new shoots coming out. So that shows uh, well progress. All right, these are curry leaves. Okay, this was this was actually um, planted at the railing over there, the railing. Okay, and then um, don't seem to be growing, so I'm trying it out by putting away from the direct sun and see if we if we, if we can see if we can grow. Okay, this guy beside here is a lime plant. 
it is one of the oldest in my collection it should be about six years old this was grown right from the seed you know and we eat um uh, mirabos so there we there will be lime in the mirabos so this time around i asked uh, I, I i got this the, the lime out before it got put inside the mirabos took out the seed and wash it off wash all this uh, you know the slimy stuff from the from the seed itself and then managed to germinate it and it became this it was a bit bigger at one point of time okay and it appeared to be dying like you know struggling to live so what i did was that uh, i just trim away all the all the uh, dry branches and if you look closely there are small leaves coming up now okay and, the, and we got a green stem here green one two three all right so again this is a good sign that it's growing alhamdulillah all right okay anyway i can i can go on and on talking about all these plants all right um but uh just for today my main thought of the day the lesson that i've that is in my mind right now I would say also um, linked to what I do as a student developer is that um, students, plants, in fact us, um, we all would grow well if we are in the correct environment, okay? It's the environment that shapes us, okay? Of course for the plants, uh, they can determine where they can be uh, you put them at where you think is best for them to grow and then hopefully it will grow if, it, if, if it's not the best condition then the plant will try to adapt itself as best as it can if it's able to adapt itself then inshallah it will grow if it can't then it will die okay so of course as the as the one who grows a plant if you see that the plant is not growing well and can't really adapt then you would actually shift it to somewhere that is that you think might be better for the plant okay and i can assure you um you know uh, how best you are as a gardener ultimately is all uh, you know a lot of guesswork a lot of uh, trial and error some things work something do not work sometimes you think that uh, this environment works for the plant but somehow it doesn't okay uh, you would have done a lot of research on the plant and again even after tons of reading then you realize that eh, you see it doesn't work but but uh, instead he work on uh, another setting okay so point point being is that my, my point again is that um, ultimately is an environment that she us okay if you uh, um, you know if you can adapt to the situation then you gotta move yourself okay uh, or you know it yeah so as i mentioned either you adapt yourself or you change the environment get out of it okay do something to it okay so there's a lot of things that, that you can do uh, again the main point is the, the environment should uh, who we are all right and for students for children that's much more at those uh, formative years uh, yeah again whatever they go through in those young younger years during this younger uh, stage of their lives is a is the one that actually they will shape uh, how they are when they are older all right so it's very important for us uh, as educators as parents uh, to take special note about how they are growing take note about the, about the environment that is uh, that, that's around them and obviously do the do the necessary changes if things are not working well okay yeah so yeah so hopefully uh, this is a, this is a simple uh, lesson which i would like to share uh, on this weekend uh, yes there's so many small lessons that you can get out of gardening itself uh, so much more i can go on and on but i will save that for some other time so yeah hopefully this sharing benefits you inshallah uh, if there's any shortcomings it comes from me uh, whatever whatever there is uh, true uh, whatever that's beneficial come from him to almighty himself okay so once again thank you for watching assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh